I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's Hey guys, how are you today? So I'm going to do an update on my catacetums to show you the different stages of growth they're in. Um, and you'll just be able to see like an update of just the catacetums. Uh, but I don't have too many of them. I wish I had some more. I hope to get some maybe this coming year. So here's my first one. It is um, the tallest growth out of all of them. It's the most mature so far. And this is my Catacetum 10 Dragons SVO by 10 Dragons Wicket. And I do have a flower uh, of this. It flowered for me last year. Uh, if you want to see that, it's somewhere in my video logs. Um, it's, it should have the name of the Catacetum on there. But it's a very dark flower and very nice form. I really love this seedling. Uh, so it's very nice. But here's the plant. Uh, this is the growth I grew. It was a little wonky last year. I really don't know why. Maybe it didn't get as much nutrients as it should have. But um, yes, here's the growth. I haven't started to water this completely, like really hard watering. Um, the moss is like just damp uh, right now. I'm still trying to get those roots to push out on the on this. And there is some new root growth at the base and things like that. But if you go along all throughout my pot is new roots just everywhere so I'm really happy about that but it looks great I hope it keeps it up because it's it looks like it's doing very well this year the second one would be my Frig Clarkia after dark SVO black pearl that I bloomed out um, and it has two growths this year at two spikes and then two growths so I don't know if it that had something to do with it or what, but um, they came out right underneath of the spikes. So I don't know, but very interesting. Um, they're they're pretty decent sized growths. They look very healthy, I think, and they're just now starting to push out new roots. If you can see it down in the media, but not too far along. Definitely, I'm really. I'm not watering this at all. I am like misting the top of it very lightly, but that's about all that comes down to. Um, this one is a recent one that I purchased from Fred Clark, but its growth is maturing fairly nicely. So I'm excited about that. Some of the old roots I, I, I saw look alive, so they're still collecting a little bit of moisture. Um, but so I do uh, just lightly miss the top of this because it's definitely not time to water it. That's one thing I everybody stresses: don't water when they're definitely when they're this young. I don't water. I don't even get water or even where near close to the new growth. I just maybe to the back side where the opposite side of the new growth is. Then this is my Catacetum Karen Armstrong. This is a beautiful blooming Catacetum as well, and you have seen it before. It had the two, it had two spikes. It actually bloomed two different times, and the first time it just had one spike, but it was uh, very pretty. Actually, I think I can't remember. Actually, I think it only bloomed. It bloomed twice, but I think it only had one spike each time. I have to go back and look. This is one reason why we make videos. So there is the uh, new growth coming on it. So definitely not watering this one either. Um, if I do, it's just like a light mist on top. But that's that. And then this is another Catacetum 10 Dragons SVO by 10 Dragons with Wicket. And it's kind of a wonky growth this year. It never did too well for me. Um, I mean, it put out a decent root system each time, but the growth just didn't really like do much. And it very, they're very not, they don't look that healthy. But um, we'll see what happens to this one. I do have the other one though. I've never seen this one flower either. So, all right. 
This is the last one of my catacetums is the Clawesia Rebecca Northern. And the reason I have this tag all wonky is because I'm trying to keep the bulb up somewhat upright um, so this new growth will push out. It's on this side. But I noticed it has pushed out so many new roots and it's only that size. Like there's probably like about 10 roots down there already that are like almost an inch inch long so that's really cool um i'm really excited to see how this one does this year as well but that's all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed that video on my catacetum and um i hope it kind of helped you out to see what to look for um at this time of year uh at least in the northern hemisphere so that's it i hope to do an update soon since it's towards the end of the month and we have some things going on um but my um cochlea i mean not cochleana my cochleata is blooming uh again but my then the um the coconut orchid maxillaria tinifolia is just full of blooms i'm really happy about that so that's all sorry it cut me off there but um like i said uh Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time, guys. Bye.